Francesco, you've spoken you're excited about a new rivalry, but is there ever fear having a team that close of chewing away some of your fan base, fans that might have been south of the border or close to the border? We're really excited that uh, Seattle's coming in, into the NHL. I think it's a great market. Um, you know, I actually encouraged, you know, Gary for years. I said, Gary, you know, what about Seattle? What about Seattle? And uh, Those are the other calls I would get. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think uh, um, from a competitive standpoint, it's great, you know, the... the uh, you know, the rivalry, you know, we've got another team in the West, we can take a bus trip down there, there'll be fans coming up and down. But, you know, I think for, for us, like, our, our fans really stop at the border. I think, you know, Washington State, I mean, we really don't get, you know, any season ticket holder. We might get a few, you know, but, but for the most part, you know, because, uh, you know, with, with, with Sportsnet, you know, it doesn't, doesn't play into Washington State. So we really don't have, like, a fan base in Washington State. So, um, you know, I don't, from, a t so from a season ticket perspective, I don't think it's going to affect it because, you know, I mean, hockey is, you know, it's, it's, it's 7 o'clock at night, there's two games a week, you know, it's, it's, it's a trek to get people out there. I mean, it's not easy. You have to be really committed. And so um, I don't think it's going to affect our business. So actually, I think it's actually going to grow our business. Right. That's what I think. You hit a home run with Vegas. You think the same thing? Yeah. Well, the, the, two things. One, uh, I agree completely with Fran what Francesco said. Uh, for Vancouver to have a natural geographic rival is yeah. going to be sensational. Uh, and so this, you know, the, the games between the Seattle, whatever they decide to name themselves, uh, that's coming soon, and, and the Canucks is going to be great. Uh, I think there are going to be more people going back and forth across yeah. the border to catch these home-and-home -home games. So we're excited about it. What, what we did in Vegas, and we're going to do it again in Seattle, although we'll see if they can be as successful. Because of the system we have that we talked about before, where every team can be competitive. Uh, and looking at what expansion has been like over the years, not just in our sport, but in other leagues as well, is typically you give the expansion team a weak pickings, slim pickings, in terms of their talent. For the first three or four years, there's this initial enthusiasm about having a team, and the team isn't yet competitive, and then things fall off, and then after about a decade, the team gets competitive, and people come back, and you see that model. Uh, because we have this system where all of our teams are competitive, we decided we couldn't bring in a team that couldn't be competitive from day one, which meant we had to give a deeper expansion draft. And it was a testament to the ownership across the league and the managers to embrace the notion of we're going to bring in another team, but this team has to be playing meaningful games at least until the end of February or March. They can't be out of it 0-11 by the time we hit U.S. Thanksgiving. Um, so we gave Vegas a deep expansion draft, and who knew? Um, Seattle will have the same type of expansion draft. The rules will be the same. Uh, what happened in Vegas, though, was extraordinary for a variety of reasons, because this team, in addition to the typical swagger that players on an expansion team have about, I'm going to prove to the world you shouldn't have let me go, uh, if you remember, there was a horrible tragedy a week before the team played its first games, the shooting in Las Vegas, and the team as hockey teams and players do. They were in the community, they were with first responders, and there was this incredible bonding that took place immediately, and the team actually believed part of its mission was to heal the community, and every night they were playing with the emotion of, we've got to win for the people of Las Vegas, we have to heal the city. Um, I, for a while I thought I was making this up, and then I spoke to a number of the players who played for the Golden Knights in the first year, and they told me, yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's one of the reasons they had this incredible success, and it was an amazing run uh, through the year. Seattle. Uh, will have the same resources available to it. They're doing a nice job building the arena. Uh, and when the 21-22 season begins, uh, I think it's going to bode really well for hockey in the entire Pacific Northwest. So we're excited about it.
Yeah, we want it to be good, but not that good. Yeah, well, we just, <laughs> just, just a little bit below us. That's what we want, yeah. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I guess because of the expansion draft rules, that's why you're not concerned about expanding the league twice in such a short period of time? We, the, the level of talent uh, is extraordinary. The number of great, and you're going to see it in the draft tonight. Uh, the, the players that are coming into the game now are bigger, faster, more skilled than we've ever seen in our history. Uh, the game is being played at an extraordinary place, pace with extraordinary skill. Uh, you know, do I think we should expand by 10 more teams? The answer is no. I think 32, and by the way, Seattle, not that we did this for symmetry purposes, because you wouldn't make an important decision business decision for expansion just on symmetry, but now it balances us off with 16 teams in the West and 16 teams in the East. And I think for the foreseeable future, we're at a good place. I don't think we're diluting the talent. Just look at what's going on. Uh, but we're not focused on any more expansion at this point.